on to like the whole YC. We're chatting about YC right now. So what's how was your YC experience? And according to you, because I, I get this a lot when I'm traveling, people ask me, why should I join YC? They, they, you know, a lot of people are really like, like you know, that even if they get in, they don't want to give away their equity or, you know what I mean? So what does what value does YC offer according to you? Sure, yeah. So, I mean, I, I do think that um, YC, a lot of what it offers is slowly getting unbundled. I do think that that's the trend. I think it started off uh, very strong. Um, and there was a, a point where it was growing in power and, and other people weren't directly competing for a long time. And I still think they don't have any like super great direct competitors, but I do think that a lot of what they offer is slowly getting unbundled. So I'm very interesting to watch, you know, like what is still their advantage. Um, but in terms of what, what YC offers or do I recommend it? Like I have no uh, regrets about doing YC because I, you know, it was a cool experience. Got to talk to a lot of smart people. I love being in like the inside, you know, the YC Slack or the YC forum, um, you know, book face. Um, I, I think that's great. And having been such a YC fanboy my whole life, um, you know, it was really, um, it was kind of like, uh, for me, it was like, not if, but when am I going to do YC, right? It's like a bucket list item. Um, and I think one of the, maybe the single biggest value add they did is the demo day process and the idea of setting up a, a, an easier process to raise money. Um, I do think that they made it, you know, significantly easier to raise money. But the thing is that raising money is still hard even with YC. Okay. So like I had the impression that if you do YC, you get such a powerful stamp of approval, right? You get like such a powerful brand name. Like that's right. I'm the next Airbnb, Stripe, you know, Dropbox, like in, you're investing in the next Dropbox. But really, um, I think what, what they don't tell you directly is that if you look at any Y Combinator batch, right, if you look at the 200 companies and you take the median company, the median company, I think, is struggling to even raise one or two hundred thousand wow. dollars. So you really got to start getting into like the top, the top half or the top third of the batch to start seeing like the 500k, one million, two million, ten million roll in. Like so, that's that that outcome happens every batch, but you just don't hear about the people who are like, yeah, we did YC and then we raised like 50k and then and then we spent it and then we you know we shut down the company. That's like a very common YC story. And did, did this happen like lately as they have been expanding, or was it like always like this? I think it was always like this. Like, I, I mean, well, there was that time when, you know, when every company got the 150K automatically, but that's basically still the case now with the 120K. Right. So I do think, like, I've never really heard somebody explicitly explain that if you're doing YC, and I don't know where the cutoff is, right? Maybe it's maybe the bottom third is getting screwed. Maybe the bottom half is getting screwed. Maybe the bottom two thirds. I don't know where the cutoff is, but there's a, a very significant fraction of companies that go through YC, graduate, and then raise less than 100,000 and maybe even zero, uh, even though they wanted to raise. Right. And, and look, whose fault is it? It might be their fault that like their product sucks. Right. Like, yep. Or like their vision sucks. Like, I, I, I don't know what the deal is, but I, I will say there is a little bit of a mindset shift where when you do, I see you get a nice stamp of approval, but the stamp doesn't make it super easy to raise. Right. 